Morning everyone, I'm Changi. We're on the show home. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of footage today. Uh, my camera's broke, my camera stand. So I'm leaning it up on a box and just hoping for the best. If it falls, it looks like it's gonna end up down the cavity, but we'll go for it. Another thing, I'm gonna just like talk you through stuff and just give you my thoughts um, as I go. Probably gonna be 10, 10 minutes or so on this, so. Right, first job, it absolutely razzed it down last night, but I didn't cover any of my brickwork up and uh, I'll show you my brickwork after. It's kind of been touched, it was red hot yesterday. Ready mix mortar, bricks are dry. So I thought, oh, I don't need to cover it up, even though no storms were coming. Um, <clears throat> let's get this set up. Covered all these bricks up, ready for today. But I didn't cover up the actual walls, even though I know you, you should. It's got a bit of a wobble on. Um, got ready mix on the bay. It's give, it's give more rain on the way. So I've probably got two hours before the rain hits. Now I want to get this in. Priorities, um, basically, when this is going after, have, this is having the roof on next week. So what I want to get done is minimum lintels and wall plates. So I need to get this pillar up to height, um, lintels on, same as I did the front side, coarser brick through the back, coarser block through the back, wall plates bedded on. Now the two ends, they've, they've got to have a coarser block in there as well, but it's not imperative for the roof. So I can leave them down and the roof can still go on. It just means I've got to reach down past the truss to build it. So that's me aim for the next two hours. Get this brick working, get this brick working. Lint lintels on, run the course straight the way through on the front, run the course through on the back and the brick and the wall plates. Hopefully we can get that done uh, before nine o'clock. It's quarter to seven now, so let's get some mortar out. Uh, <clears throat> mortar doesn't look too bad. You're not gonna be able to see, oh God. God, there's like an inch of water in each one of these buckets. I put that straight back into my wash bucket because I know we need water today. Ozzy will be here very shortly, I would expect. And then I want to get rid of the water that's in my mortar because there's a good couple of inches in that. Empty it out of the bucket. Should put, put my gloves on, really, but I haven't. Just because I want to get going. This mortar came last night, and it was an absolute dream. Um, I'm, I make a plan for every day. It's all right, you'll be able to see me again in a minute. I make a plan for every day. What I want to get done and where I'm going to be. And my plan today was at least to have this lift boxed off, finished. And everything after that was a bonus because that was my plan at the beginning of the week to be able to get this finished. Um, and that keeps everybody happy. Especially the site team. Now, you're looking inside there, there's no bird cage. Um, usually the scaffolding company, they put the bird cages in after on this site for these, but I've asked them to do it the other way around. And uh, next job, I'll put the birdcage in with this lift. Um, and then I find it easier. It's quicker for them next time round for the scaffold anyway. So as they don't have to uh, mess about before they uh, put the roof on. So it'll be a day job instead of maybe a day and a bit. This mortar is pretty decent actually, since it was full of water. I'm just going to bang a single bucket on each, just get me going, and then Ozzy can fill up the rest. When I come round, when I come round, main thing I check for is to make sure that these formers are reasonable and they haven't moved over. That looks pretty plumb. That's tight to the block work. Same with that, that looks reasonably plumb, even though that one's not tight to the last block. That's tight to the block. The heights are checked to make sure these formers 
aren't running higher than the block work, which they're not, or the brick work, because that'll give you a problem with your lintels. If they are, you want to always check that coming up. I tend to uh, pick my gauge up a little bit in the third lift and in the second lift, well in this fourth lift, sorry. Pick my gauge up in the fourth and the second just to come over windows to make sure that everything's running even through 10 mil most of the time. But what will set you out is when you're doing your windows below, you need to make sure them first three courses of block are skinny. Because if you don't do them skinny and you put your thermalite brick in, thermalite brick are always bigger. Your form is not going to sit down to flush on the outside to your window sills. And that makes these all come up, makes your windows bigger, pushes everything out. So them first three courses are really important to get skinny. When you're coming over your beam fill, just so happens that this works out really well for beam fill. No notching blocks, because you've got that coarser brick to cover. All the time. Right, we're ready. Get my tools around here now. Some uh, bricklayers were on site yesterday doing footings, doing some walls over there. Uh, my bloody corner block had fell off down the cavity and I hadn't bought any spares with me. They were kind enough to borrow me their, uh, one of their corner blocks and uh, I haven't tried the footprint ones before, but uh, they're really good. Yeah, I'll show you now. Where's the footprint one? A little shell today, I think. Uh, there it is. I just like how they've got the slots. Whoa, my God. The lintel just fell that far from my ankle. Oh, that would have ruined my day. Aussie leaning stuff up. Pull and flat, mate. God, that would have hurt. Yeah, but these are, uh, you got all the slots on them, so they're pretty good. I'm going to take it off now because I did say I'll give it him back in the morning. And now I've got mine. I uh, just use the ones. Oh no, thought I'd drop that then. God, I'm being a bit of a calamity this morning. So there you go. And this is the normal style that I use. I do find that these hook on a little bit nicer though. Right. Two putters to one side. Pull my line through. Jobs are good. Pull from that end. Point nice and tight. It doesn't look too bad, the weather, but it's definitely coming. Two hours' time, not going to have a prayer. So, at least these brick can take a bit of water. I'll get some 4 b one cover it. Cover these up with for when Ozzy gets here. Uh, I'm reckoning it's that course, hopefully. Keep the light tiny, tighter with your left hand. Roll it out with your right hand. I don't ever like using the line that's on my pins because it takes too long to pull out, so straight on the spool. I keep seeing comments saying about me wearing a black hat. Now, I don't wear a black hat because I'm bloody running anything or managing or anything like that. I just wear it because I've had this out for bloody years. And it's like just one of them things you don't, don't chuck it or change it just because people don't like the colour. Or I've been getting people saying that I've got. Oh, it's just stuff about being a black hat. I'm not even a bloody black hat anymore. All my ties are in, checked, lovely. That's on to the right height. Time to go, get my glove on. And I'm on one, right, seven minutes to seven. 
if I can find my glove. So that's the right glove. That's not the right glove. That's the right handy. Oh, don't I do this to me? Don't tell me I'm gonna have to go down to the van to get the bloody glove. Aye, looks that way, right. I'll have to go get to the van then. Okay, that's the glove got. I'm gonna keep a level on each one of these. I've been thinking about, because I'm on my own now, bringing my other four foot in, just to speed things up a little bit. Window clips can go in on that course. In fact, we've got them on the bottom. They can go a little bit higher up. Not on that one though. Can wait till the middle. That one wants one in. And uh, I've got a few over there, pull them across. Oh, plenty. And I've just seen my old glove, my gloves on the front. <laughs> All right, just one extra for that one. One for them a little bit higher up. All right, now we're away. Cavities are pretty clean. Uh, start off with a full brick and get going. Stuff's pretty wet. Pretty wet indeed. Once I get a little bit higher, things should be a little bit nicer. Yesterday was a good day in the sun, but we finished by four o'clock and we knew exactly what was coming. So this morning it's head down, arse up. We've got to get this done, keep these ties straight. That's a big must. Always keep your ties straight. These bricks chip so easily. The amount of bricks that you end up in the skip with, they must think, oh God, what are they doing with these? But they're a soft brick. These are a nice brick. There was a, uh, some difference in size in them on uh, the first lift and they've seemed to have leveled out a bit with size now. Somebody's too cosy space down there. He's not going to be happy. Like that, I've got tighter joints underneath and then when I've come up for this one, they're not tight. Check the corners every time you pick a brick up, just to make sure that it's not uh, chipped up. You want them full beds. Just take the time with this first one while it's on the wet. Tell you what I watched last night, can't remember the name of the channel. But some guy who's been doing uh, soldiers up high on a commercial job, fought like five courses high. Oh, I can't bloody remember the name of the channel. But man, these bricklayers who take them kind of jobs on, I don't know what kind of prices they're getting for uh, Adam Hutch, that's his name. I don't know what kind of prices they're getting for that on price, but this must be mad money. To get anyone doing it, it's got to be. Because everybody wants mad money just for laying normal style of brick. Never mind radius work on top of Ancon and all that lot. These panels have got probably 100 or so brick in them. Uh, there's about 70 blocks to put in. 
Shouldn't take too long. I can get off this. I've seen uh, Hey, anyway, I'll tell you, tomorrow, getting Silverstone. Watch the uh, F1, which is a nice little treat. Never been before, I've always wanted to go. So this year, bought tickets and thought, why not? All right, that's good. Established, the, all the joints are pretty big. Not pretty big, but They're not pin tight anyway. Yeah, Silverstone tomorrow, so th there's quite a lot going on. It's not just for the qualifying. It's uh, the F3 races on, uh, the F2 Women's Series Motorsport, that's on as well. Right. Always keep your other off. These bricks are so soft. Should have checked the ends before I cut it. Bricks are so soft, all I want to do Tip it with the back side of my troll there, not up here, because I don't want notches all in my troll. This, it's no good. This back side of your troll is stronger. It's going to take a little bit more hammer, but these don't cut very well with a um, brick hammer. You try hitting with a brick hammer and they just bloody disintegrate. So yeah, give it a strike with the front. And then, as soon as you struck it with the front, just give it a strike with the heel. And it gives you a nice straight cut. Chip off both sides, because you don't want all that hanging off into the cavity. Not really, it just looks rough. I always chuck all my broken bricks just to one side of the spot, because then when either me or Ozzy come along, mainly Ozzy, all you've got to do is pick up a little stack of bricks and chuck them straight in the skip rather than trying to find them where they're all winged everywhere. Right, try to get some rhythm going now. It's just this muck's too wet to handle. Here's Ozzy. Perfect timing. Because he can uh, get me some muck on these boards. Fill me up, start loading out my blocks and thermo brick. God, it's wet, this stuff is. The other day it came and it was really dry. But I'd still prefer this to silos. Uh, A and D group. I know they normally give us a watch. He was on about silos and stuff and he had some bad experiences with ready mix, but I really like it depending on who you have it off. This is from Mortars and Screeds. Probably hear me heavy breathing on this mic. Can hear someone at the gate. You want full joints on the ends, make it quicker for jointing. Squeeze that in there. Keep your cavities clean. You get the general gist, I'll just do this side here. And I'll turn you off for a bit until we get higher and then I'll show you exactly what I'm doing with these lintels as well. Does that fit in behind the line? Yeah. When you know you've got a little bit of a gap to your former, I like to put a bigger cut in so it keeps the former tight, pushes it back. I'll show you a little trick there. Well, it's not a little trick, but I'll show you how I do these lintels because obviously 
you might bed them down. You don't want them really getting high when you come for run your brick over the top. Um, when they get inspected, the inspector looks underneath to see the bulge of mortar from where you fed them on. So I literally just give them a little lick of mortar to make it bulge out. Everyone looks looks like the real thing. Right here. Really wet. I'm sure it'll improve. Oh, just makes it a little bit harder to handle. As you can see. <laughs> if it does rain today, which it's promised. We've definitely we've got other plots to load up. You don't have to go home. I've got two jumpers, I'm willing to get wet today. two courses in and I plumb them every few so that's all you get in this morning I'll uh, come back to you again when we got the lintels when we're ready for lintels and I'll show you bedding them on whatever you do just don't touch the camera because it's um, it's like the, the top thing's broke so it's just leaning there I can see that going straight down the cavity you know what I mean? If you, touch, if you touch that block, it's gone. Right, we're up to the top. It took us under an hour to get to there. Um, get rid of that. Gonna do the lentils now, so put my line up. Will you just do that line the other end, please, Oz? Yeah. Now, for this, because everything's at a good height, everything clears the formers, all I want is just a little scrape. And that's it, because it will bed back. It's not gonna go back to the full 150, but It'll just sit on, sit on nice as well. And then start banging them in. 1050s, these are 685 windows. Make sure the holes go to the back for you who are new to the channel or the trade. Give them a little tap down. Make sure you've got 150 bearing either side. Yeah, I've got plenty with a 1050. It's a 685 window. Take it back. I like it so there's just about 10 mil from the back edge of the face, uh, back edge of the brick to get rid of them. Once you've jointed it, Oz, just give it a quick rub on the back, mate, please. Oh, yeah. Um, now it's drying off a bit. So, yeah, 10 mil from this, Aris, this edge, which will give you about 15 mil on the front of your brick every time, and it gives you a good bearing for your block work. It allows you to pull your brick through easier. So same on every one. And then when the inspector comes, you'll see it bulging. If you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, everything's A-OK. -okay. Simple as that, straight on. Get your bearing right. 10 mil off the back, 10 mil off the back of that. Clear it, clear it. Underneath, give your motor a strike. And then on to your next one. And then we're just gonna run that course straight through. Beautiful. 
This one's a bigger one, 1650 for a 1248 winder. Plenty of bearing on this one. It's nearly a full brick aside. You know that, Oz. Oh, yeah. When you're bedding these on, it's literally like a finger width there at the back, and that gives you the that gives you perfect perfect every time. Finger width, job done. That spills out nice. And then when you put this course through, this course of brick through, it should uh, should fill up with a bit. Uh, where can I just come past you, mate? What? Just <clears throat> after my glove. Right, glove again. Here's the boys. The other brickies who have lent the uh, corner block off. Where is it? Five past eight. I'll give him his corner block back in a minute. All right, lads. Got uh, Cordwell construction vests on. They must have been doing a bit for them. To be fair, there's quite a few lads who are on this side who used to be at Cordwell's and they've jumped shift. They're on Steve Con now. When you bed over the lintel, because there's only one course on, you haven't got to put uh, damp. Skinny it out at the back so as it pushes forward. Lean it backwards and then just lay it up first one and you should be able to take that all the way through. The same. And then we can get this block work running in the back. The jobs are good. And keep nice 10 mil perk. No pick and dip over these. You want them nice and full. Sure enough, there's nothing going over the top, see? And that line's in perfect with underneath. Joints are all full. And then the soffit sits straight on there. That's why they're putting it on. Not a bad detail, actually, putting a course through. Beautiful. And then, uh, as soon as I've done this course through, jump straight overhand this back course for a few little bits to clean off. Over on the back course, and we'll have to just jump inside to uh, point it up. I have got to hop up in the van because just stand on that, really. This is not bad either because it ties all the uh, this top pillar together with these lentils, which is better, I would say. Because normally, you just finish it up with an eaves lentil. Eve's lintel doesn't carry brickwork, it's just this thin. And then these middle pillars then are only tied together with wall plate, which is a bit not as strong, let's put it that way. It's a nice detail, one course of brick over. And that's what I'm seeing. I know that on my house, there's no detail at the top over the through and some of the brickwork's been pushed when I've been up and had a loop. I'm gonna have to repair that when I do my sockets and faces. See now how the bricks just fly through. Uh, oh, I'm out of brick. So I've got some here. 
We probably need uh, another half a bucket of mortar on. <coughs> In fact, probably put a bucket on. I was here. Full yeah, full bucket because the bricks will take some, won't they? Cough as if I smoke. I can't remember last time I had a fag. A while ago. Another all but the yeah? yeah, chuck one on our. Should uh, get us through. Because then I've got bed the wall plate on as well, see? Got the wall plate just over there. I'll show you that stage in a minute. Just get this course through. You get the general gist. May as well uh, carry on now. You can skip this bit in the video if you don't want to watch me do this through. Pips are lined up lovely. What I do like about this job as well, everything seems to work more or less. Brick gauge, uh, brick sizes. Good. Be a few bricks. Oh no, I've got some behind me. Yeah. Think we may get this done before the rain hits. Which is fantastic because that's what I planned on. That's what I've planned on booking in anyway. I don't really like chasing my tail when I book in. I want to make sure I get done what I say I'm getting get done. Under um, <laughs> and everything just works supremely. Like there's hardly, there's no, there's no like tapping stuff down, bang, 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 try and get stuff down over the lentils. It's just, weird. everything works nice. Don't need to prop these with one brick. Not enough weight to bow them. And then once it's gone off a little bit, I'll go underneath and strike these. I don't particularly strike them when it's wet. Take the main excess off. You got a couple more bricks there, please, Oz? I've got some around this corner, they might be alright. Yeah. Oh, you haven't got no dryings, have you? Oh no, I've got some ears hidden. They're hidden. Couldn't see them because of all the blocks. I was hoping to get down to that third lift, down there and carry on. Just keep
keep crashing some uh, brickwork in. Might get ahead for next week. It's being next week's. If I get down there today, that's into next week's money anyway. And you know you're already ahead on your wages, which is a nice feeling. I do like to leave a little bit in from the previous week. Just as a bit of a cushion. You have a bad day and then you know, well, I've still got some in. Not that we have bad days, really. It's the only weather that can give us a bad day. And obviously, you stuff like forks not turning in, whatever, but that doesn't happen on here. Well, it hasn't so far. I've been really lucky with the driver. His name's Ian. What a top guy. Right, that's it. That's your course run through the front. Now, course of block on here. Uh, course of block through that one. Ozzy! It's alright. I'll do it. I was going to ask you to move this, but it's going to go peak tongue. Stop it for a bit. Okay, move that out of the way. It's time to set the block. I'm gonna pull my line over to the top there. Just come round you, mate. Get my tape measure first, eh? What do we want overall? 303 or something. Tape measure. I measure back from this, 303, just hook that to there, I'll give it 305 to the inside, and that should be the line of the block work, and blocks can go straight through it there. These scaffolds are skinny, you can't really get round the back with these big boards. The same both sides. Three or five. Well, that one's bang on. There it is. I tell you what, the line of that looks pretty damn good. Pretty darn good. Right, and run the blocks through. Uh, bigger trowel. Ow! Yeah. Oh, you've got my trowel, haven't you? Swap trowels. Swap trowels. You can have mine. I'll have yours. There you go. I like using this bigger trowel for block work. What have we got here? Well, that's going to be a cut to start off with. Uh, looks like a half, actually. I haven't got my block cutter up here, so I'll have to try and score it and then snap it. Perfect job. All right. Chuck us some mortar on these, please, mate. And that's it. Get going on the blocks. Overhand them. We'll have to join some after. Perfect. Do, do, do. Use the rough, the, you want to use the rough side to pair. It's easier to pair these before you put them in. 
What the hell is that? Stuck on a lump? God, I'm leaning on this brickwork here. I've only just laid it. Right, skinny that bed out. And do this all the way through. And then after I'll just run a course of brick across. Lining the bottom of this through. With underneath. And the top course of brick, I won't even use a line, I'll just bang that through. And you get the gist of that. Keep going. I don't know what my van alarm sounds like. Oh, right. That's it then. No, someone's turned it off. It's not my van. Take that out of the way. Hopefully I won't get any straight neck over this. We're about to cut block for underneath. For the lentils. Let's have a look. Yeah, that one's on the uh, straight neck, so I'll have to use that other half I've cut. Don't like doing it, but... Keep it all half bond over the top. That's what happens when you prefer to keep the ends running bond rather than straddling it right round, which you should do really. That's all right. That's nice and flush. I'm going to end up rebonding that again. Bloody hell for you. Rebond it, rebond it. It's because of all these three quarters in the top. For the window lentils. Another block and a half. Just score the block. And then give it a snap.
them back to bond. This is why I want the internal bear cage in, so I don't have to hand, overhand anything. Just climb inside and do it. Says we've got half an hour before rain. I better get a bloody move on. Tell you what I could do with once you've jointed Aussie. Right. Get some 4B1 put straight over the brick wheel because of a bit of a cover. Oh, and then it should be alright. It can go, them two long pieces can go straight through over the top of there. Watch your hand mate. Blocks! Blocks, 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 you old dog. That's the same again. Uh, do you want me to just go from the other end or what? Well, I'm going to be all right. That's all it. Right, well. Would do, wouldn't it? Ah, what a pain. I need a hundred mil piece. Never gonna cut that. Black cutters down there, then it's. Yeah, it's on the other left of it. I mean, really, I should just fly it through. Can I just get that block, mate? Ugh. Cut, 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 cut. Flaming cut. It's actually quite warm, isn't it? I haven't got my eye vis with me. It's in the van. I also take this off, take it off after. <clears throat> I'm trying my best not lean on this brickwork. <clears throat>
Bring it right around, mate. Right, we're gonna get this wall plate on now. Put a nice bed on all the way through. And then I can get this bedded down, level it up. You gotta be quick because the thermal brick will suck all the life out of it. I'll just got it. As soon as I've got enough spread on, put it straight on the wall, mate. Bring it round so as you know how far I need to go. And then uh, you can just tie it up across the wall. You'll be able to overhang it that way a bit. Right, so what is it? Once I get to here with spread, it can go on. I'll give you a hand in a minute. This is meant to have a half lap on it, but because the joiners aren't here, I'm not half lapping it myself because it's just time out of my day that I'm not going to get back. A yeah. um, little bit more. And what I'll do is I'll just cut. I'll just leave it 100 mil longer on one end, and I'll just cut it off straight. I've got my circular saw here. Right, straight up and over it. This is a uh, four bit, little bit thicker than four by two, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, no, I've got, no, 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 I've got more spread yet. Just drop it down on top of the bricks. Goes flush with that end as well, look. Yeah. yeah. Exactly flush with that. One more trowel and that'll do us. Okay, that's it, up, up mate. Just place it on flush with the end. Yeah? Yep. Right, I'll get me level and I'll level that all the way through. Take my hammer with me as well. Because it... There's the other piece round, mate. You always want it crowning up, and that is actually... That's crowning the other way. Or if they want to switch that over, they can. Just give it an initial thud down. And then we'll light, level that through. Make sure it's decent enough. You wouldn't believe it, it's spot on. Spot on. Bloody good. Kind of grumble with that, Oz. Seeing as the Tim is a little bit twisted as well. Right, um, take this up and oh, let go, let go, let go. Take it up and over first. That's it, I've got it. And then. If I butt this to the back of the brick there, yeah. that's my 100 mil. Do that there. If I mark it just here, and then I'll get my circular saw out. So that's just there, look. More or less. More or less. It's all More right. or less. Yep. I'll cut that now. Just put that on there. Uh, where's my circular? You're going to want to go inside after and point all this up, Ozzy. Um, I've got me. I've got me. What's it in the van? Me up up. Oh, right, me up up's yeah. in the van. Uh, Right, come this side for me. I'll just hold it up like that. Turn it over. I'll show you. Right, how I want to do it is take it off the wall. That'll do. And then, literally, just put it on the floor, put your end down, and if I cut it down that way, it'll stop it, should stop it biting. There 
you go. Just uh, take that a little, watch it off. Right, that'll be ready. Chuck out the wall. Let's have a look. Just to off, offer it up in the air. Is that to the end of your brick? Yep. Perfect then. Right, I'll do the same again. That's all bowed up, so yeah. turn it over. Yeah. And that's the way we'll have it crowning up. And then we can chuck a couple of blocks on top of that for after. Right, do you want to... Do you want to point this up? Go inside and point all this up, Shag. Yeah, drop my keys. Oh God, look at my phone. Oh. Great. Mortar all over my mic. Oh man. I bet all that was missed then. What we did. Never mind. It's because this bloody thing it's knackered. My stand is knackered. Great. Probably missed all of that. I'm gonna have to get a new new stand, aren't I? See if that'll hold. Alright, what we did is I pushed this to the end of that wall on the inside and then just cut it through. Get this spread across and hurry myself up. Check the height, it should work perfect. Uh, on the drawing it says 2437 from that floor. So I'll double check it. Once I've buried it on, but I think it's pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. So this fourth lift has taken us, it's nine o'clock now, all I've got to do is bed the brick and block on the other side, so it'll just be a morning, a day in the morning for the fourth lift, which is uh, pretty good because there's some decent money in it. And then the reason I'm leaving this 100 mil longer, for any of you who don't particularly know what this is for. This is so you sit your roof trusses on it. And I can, uh, so they can do a half lap joint. They cut, they cut half of this and half so as it laps on. That's what the joint will do. So if I leave it 100 mil long, when he cuts his half lap, he's got some, something to play with instead of him being short and then it won't reach on the ends, which his first truss is, they usually land 63 mil in. Uh, that's nice, even though it's a bowed bit of timber, that is perfect, and I mean perfect. That'll do us. Right, rummage, trowel across. Do you want to join this, do you want to join this back first? Yeah. And then join the inside after. That's pretty good, job done. Right, that's finished height. Like I said, I'll uh, double check the height now from floor. Let's see what this height is, eh? From the floor, use this level. That's tilting up a little bit. Two, four, three, seven we're after. Two, two, four, three, five. Very good. Right, next side, and that's that. Just show you now. That's my wall plate on. Done. You'll drink that. 
and jobs are good. Brilliant. Okay, that's us done. Uh, just after 10 o'clock. Wall plates are on. Ozzy's just changing that last little bit now. Left this course off on that side and this side because it just came easier when the scaffold's lifted to just overland it when I'm higher up. And uh, that's ready for roof so I can get off here. It's covered up these, the brickwork, fresh brickwork with some 4B1 um, in case that rain does come. It hasn't come yet. Happy days. So now I'm going to get down to the next drop and I'm going to start getting on, set, set, setting up, carry on with that third lift down there. Happy days. Just been across to plot four, rattled the tyres on that so as we can get the inspection booked in for Monday. I'll just flip you across. All it's got to be doing is a couple of trays to clean out, but that's that one down there. So that's ready for inspection. We'll just come back onto this one, plot three. Uh, and I've just set up on this cable. As it's getting finished loading up the rest, there's only a bit to load up. Another pack of block to put in, like a small pack of thermo. And then I've just started this here. Um, I'm not going to put the stand on because it keeps falling over, but I've got two, two and a half courses put on this side, then I'm going to run all this front in. I'll show you now. I'm going to put all this front in then and just wrap it around the corner. Uh, and I'll just use some planks to steady the ship. Should be all right. Just had a, um, just having a bit of lunch now. The job is going swimmingly. It's 12 o'clock, no rain yet still. I've uh, got, I think I've got a tub and a half left of mortar, which I've done really well with mortar this week. We had a meter Friday, uh, used that. Meter Monday, used that. Didn't have one on Tuesday. Meter Wednesday, meter Thursday, and that's what I've got left now. I've got a, a tub and a bit, tub and a half left. And that'll see me through to the end of the day. I've just changed it around this week now, so as I have a meter and a half tonight, no delivery Monday, so that gives me three for Monday, three for Tuesday. I'll have a meter on Tuesday and keep going like that. Um, so it doesn't get tight, but no more to wastage as long as we have dry weather. Um, I will literally use, I've weighed it up now, average three tubs a day. Three tubs a day, and that's because when you're on block work, you obviously use a lot less. So the three tubs a day gives me gives me plenty to go at. Uh, I've got two days next week, block work. So that's why I've had a metre and a half for the 72 hour, because I know it comes really wet and uh, it stays good for longer. So that's why I cancelled Mondays. That was my idea behind cancelling Monday. Because when I had Monday this week, it rode into Wednesday and it was just a bit stiff. So changed it up a little bit with the mortar. Let's have some dinner anyway. Right, that concludes the week. Uh, I was going to show you what we just got done on that third lift, but I haven't got time. So, we finished all the brickwork, barred the zip up, which is pretty good going. It hasn't rained all day. Been lucky, the weatherman's been a liar. So, if you've enjoyed this week's videos and you've enjoyed today's video, and it's been a bit of a long one, all the way up, then uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell. You'll be reminded every time we upload a video uh, Next week big week again Aussie's uh, Aussie's got something to do on Monday, so I'm on my Jack Jones But uh, I'm only on black work, so it should be sound got the motor on the bay already ready to go Kind of fault it um, All my blocks are in so I got it and I got a care in the world come Monday. Some hooter on it. Anyway, have a good weekend. Uh, F1 tomorrow, told you already. Aspianti, Aspianzola, and I think it's the live weekend as well for the golf. So we've got live, we've got PGA Tour, we've got F1. Is anything missing? It's a bit of footy. See you later.